Ear is a long vowel sound made with the tongue near front, the jaw near close, and the lips unrounded. Ear. It is generally pronounced in this monophthongal way these days without the movement to the centre, but the phoneme is a centering diphthong, and if it is pronounced in this way, it is ear, which starts near front, near close, and moves to the centre. Ear. Ear spellings normally include E and R. Zero, interior, serious, fear, ear, clear, beer, puppeteer, cheers, pierce, peer, weird, weir, souvenir. It can occasionally be spelt without R. Theatre, idea. As a long vowel sound, ear will shorten before a voiceless consonant, though this is fairly rare. Compare. Pears, pears, fears, fears. The diphthong also appears in transcriptions of weak syllables such as cilia, period. However, these weak endings should not be treated as the same as the stressed phoneme. The endings would never be pronounced ear with a long monophthong. There are two ways to view these endings: ear with two weak syllables or y with one syllable containing y. And a schwa. In GB, this sound has become a monophthong, ear, for most speakers, near here, though some people also use diphthong ear or both, near here. In RP, the sound is a diphthong, ear, near here. And in old fashioned RP, the second part can be more open and more stressed than the first element, ya, nya, ya. In general American, the R is pronounced typically with some movement towards the schwa from a close or near close position. Near here. Pronunciation studio.